it's been two months since I heard it. Uh, we had our first scrimmage of the year uh, two months ago, and that's when I injured it, actually. I wanted to block uh, somebody's shot in practice and just landed real hard. This is a different kind of injury, you know, kind of has more nerves involved and stuff. So it's different. It doesn't have like a set specific timetable on it. So that's probably like the hardest part of dealing with it. BJ's the kind of kid that he'll come in here and work, but you don't know that he's working because he comes in at all kinds of hours and just gets it done, you know? That's why I call him the ghost. You don't have to see him to know that he's working hard. BJ, he brings a lot of leadership, you know? Um, I, I know BJ for a little while, and um, he, he's a real serious guy, you know? He has fun, and he jokes around, but when it comes down to basketball, he just wants to win. Oh, I definitely respect his work. I think he's one of the hardest workers on the team, and I see him every day trying to get right, so I have no doubt that he's gonna come back and pick up where he left off. I was really anxious and looking forward because I think he really has a chance. You know, he's got a chance to, you know, maybe play at another level, at the next level. And um, the frustration is right now is the injury. And, you know, that's one of the things that you just have to be able to be patient with. Uh, I, mean, I think I just stay positive through everything. You know, they say the character of people is judged how they deal with adversity. So this is a little adversity. And, I'll overcome it and I'll get better and I'll feel better. Successful people don't feel sorry for themselves and I don't feel sorry for myself and I know I can't be out there right now. So I'm just keep pushing and keep working, keep doing my rehab to get back out on the court as soon as possible. There's this different look in his eyes now. It's, it's more like a, a fire where he wants to get on the court and prove something to everybody. And he's just out there doing whatever he can to get back on the court. Rehabbing wise, he's always on the bike, getting his body right. He has a great ability to be able to rebound and come back and keep things in perspective. And you know, injury's part of sport. Uh, no matter how much longer you're involved or how long you've been involved, you're gonna go through a time where you get hurt. And I think it's important as I try to encourage him every day is to keep your head focused on the improvement and the mindset of the things you can still learn every day even though you're not on the floor. He's remaining positive. He's embracing it and he's not really letting his injury like affect his character and letting it affect like who he is when he comes like into the court, into the training facility, into the locker room. You can't settle for where you're at. You have to keep pushing forward and make a plan of what you're gonna do to make your goals come true. And that's what I do. I have it written down of a plan for what I'm gonna do to make my goals come true and, and make my dreams come true. And I think that I stick if I stick with that plan and stay dedicated to it that that is, it should happen.